Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to take it easy and we're actually going to do some bits and bobs around the base. Also make an area for the sniffers as well as finishing off the lake here. There is a building that I do want to do but I don't really have the resources gathered right now for it. So we're not going to really work on that right now and I'll probably do that a little bit later. I feel like I've got some of the supplies already over there so let's just jump up straight over there and see what supplies we've actually got. So let me go over here and go weep. So this is the sniffer area over here. It's quite big and it is quite bulky. I do want to get the um, sniffers kind of like a G decent type. I'm thinking about using this tree as a, a little bit of an area for them as a little grove. And then this is basically where they can sniff around, look for stuff, uh, etc. Over here we're just going to have to plan out the lake, so um, the pond. So I kind of want it quite big so let's just do it I don't want to cover the entire path because I feel like the entire path is basically a good like reference also I want to add some kind of like wildlife because I'm thinking about adding the axolotls that I might just get in the bobfish in this um, pond so I wanted to give it enough so the point they can actually get around the place but also work with it so let's do this there we go. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes after I go and get the stuff for the sniffers, plan out what I'm doing for the sniffers hut, as well as dig out this area and get supplies for the water. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in a little bit once I get all Hey guys, it's currently night time and I've just finished off the two areas which I really wanted to get done in this episode. I'm actually quite impressed. We're not over the episode yet because there's quite a lot of stuff to still do. Again, I'm going to try and get the building up over there. It means I will have to go off again and go get the resources and then do another quick time lapse and basically show you guys what I basically built. I'm not, or I might not because the, the, the builds or the schematic can, it has a little bit of a bug at the moment which, um, Sometimes it doesn't place all the blocks it's meant to, so hopefully I can get that up and show you guys what I've done. But I'll give you guys a quick tour on the current progress. So over here we've actually added the lake. We're going to put the axolotls and the bloodfish in this area, which I think is going to be really, really cool and really nice to have. Over here we've got a little bit of a plot area where we can put some more like crops like over there, and I think they bring the area together. 
So how to get into the sniffers. The sniffers has got a quite a big area to expand. I kind of made a little bit of a cave area for them instead of a hut because I don't really, I like to keep it natural. We've got quite a lot of buildings around this area anyway. So I thought let's not do a hut and let's do like a little bit of cave room. So we've currently got the sniffer eggs currently in here. They are in moss box so they, cook, they do melt a little bit quicker. We have four in total which is really really handy. And they've got different areas where they can go sniff. So you've got some mud over here, you've got some roots of dirt, you've got some coarse dirt, you've got some more mud over here with some mossy mud bricks, some moss. And then we're also going to add pod salt into the mix as well. They've also got a little area for a drinking pool because sniffers need a drink. You can't really let them go thirsty, so I gave them some drinks. And then this goes all the way around to kind of block it up. We did put some fences in here just to stop the sniffers from climbing up to get out. Same on here. So they're all secure inside. And I'm actually really, really happy with the design. We'll basically take a screenshot. So the screenshot's going to be here, and hopefully, we get a couple of sniffers in the area. I might add some more flowers and foliage around the place as well. But I can see how the sniffers, see how the sniffers get around, and see how much room we've got to work with. I don't want to overcrowd it with a lot of foliage to the point they can't move around freely, because that's basically what this area is for. It's for them to go freely, but not too far to the point. They are extinct dinosaurs, which means they do take a um, while to come back. Um, over here is also going to be probably another crop area mixed between a flower area for um, the certain area. Um, yeah, mixed to a farm and then a flower area just to kind of blend it in with the um, hive and then also going to transition into the main area for the buildings. So we did this area. Yes, uh, last episode, and this is basically a die and wool plus chicken farm, which is really handy. And the, ch the sheep are going pretty well. We've got quite a lot of different types of colours, and I'm actually quite happy with how much colours we've got. So I can't wait to keep expanding. So let me go and get the materials for this. I'll quickly build it up, show you guys what it is. Also do some work, just to, to a couple of things to get done around here, and I'll be back after I've done that. So don't forget guys, if you guys do like my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe, it's really really handy. Also don't forget the like, because support of you guys with this series up right now is amazing. We're getting to over almost 50 views each episode in one day, which is a very strong improvement on what the current uh, Life Court series I've ever done. So I know you guys are actually enjoying this, and we've got so many more projects to get done. So if you guys want to see more of these projects and see how this world expands into the um, pro the main project and the mega project at the very end then keep watching if you guys want to see some live videos don't forget to go and see me on stream because i do tw i do twitch twitch is basically where i can go live on different like play different games with friends but also i do some on camera um off camera work on here live over on twitch so you get when you guys watch this on youtube there may be some improvements or some like fixes aka this um, little thing over here i had to fix this on stream because the farm I designed the first time, it didn't really work. So, yeah. Also, a lot of this stuff gets done on stream, especially like with all the foliage and all the details, they all go into streaming. So, don't forget to guys, I'll catch you guys in a little bit after I go and get the materials and build up this little area and do some work around here. And then we'll give you guys a quick tour around the area we've managed to do. See you guys, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Don't forget to hit the bell, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll catch you for after this, after this. Bye! Welcome back. So, I managed to get all the supplies for this lot, um, for the new building over there, which is now currently done. It's not completely set up properly, but it's working, but... Nothing worth said. Go and get some, go and get some fresh air. Be good for it. Could be good for your leaves. Come on. Be you over here. Oh my God! You're so adorable. You want to stay here, or you want to keep sitting? Ready? Yes. Welcome back. I am back, and yes, we have got some stuff to do. So I had to breed some animals, and as you can see, we've got quite a lot of variations. I've also got the thing to work, which is everything. 
The only thing I'm missing is basically some ladders, which I'm gonna quickly go and grab from the storage system. Kit. Oh, you can I forgot to grab it. So let me just grab some ladders. Whee! Mm, wrong position. This will be here. I like using the crook like this because I think they're pretty cool. And yeah. So let me go over here. What's this? Right. Uh. Boom. Right. We're back up. So basically, all I did was add a chest here so we could feed the animals. And then we are going to run to get eggs. Let's see if this works. So basically. You grab the adults, hopefully. You just kill the adults and not the other babies. There we go. They should all go down. There's a blood. Because we have looting, this should work. Chicken! Blub. Blub. And sheep. Let's do that for a second and let's see what goes in. Oh, look, we're getting. Okay, we've got raw. So the, the slice that looks like it probably needs to go a little bit more further down because it looks like it's not down enough. See if I've got the materials on me to quickly fix this. This is why you always check before you actually fully on get it. So as you can see here, it looks like this is probably a little bit too um, low. So we're actually going to quickly nip over to the crate area, which is just through here, went the wrong way almost. Grab a couple of those. It's meant to get sliced up into the different variations, but I think because yeah, it is a little bit lower, it can't do that. So we're going to test a theory by literally breaking this. By one block, bring this down. One that, one that. Where did my slicer go? My slicer should just go in here. Hold on. Aha! Hello, Mr. Slicer. <gasps> yeah, I don't want you over there. Because it's meant to do this, so ah, it's got a direction it has to go in. That is weird. It's probably a reason one didn't work. This is why you always mess around with things beforehand. Okay, let me just break this for a sec. I've never worked with a slicer, so I have no idea how this works. Or meant to work. So Looks like this probably might need to direction change. Looks like it. <sighs> I'll figure this out in two minutes. Right, so it looks like it can go there. Nice go there. It looks like that's a piston, so it should work as a piston. I just think it went the wrong way. So if we go and grab ourselves a gearbox, we don't really have any. Let's have a look. Oh, wrong way. I always go the wrong way when it comes to crate. I forgot to crate upstairs and not downstairs. Um, one of those. Should do the trick. One of those should do the trick and should hit this thing right here. Okay, let's see if this actually now works. Yeah, now it works.
There we go! We're now gonna be patties! And bacon! Yep, it was going the wrong way. You know what? Let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'd be good. Yeah, we are gonna get bone meal at some point. I think we're getting it from the chicken. Yeah, we're getting it from the chicken. No, okay. So we are gonna get bone meal in here. But that's fine. So yeah, now we've got an automatic slice of dice. To the point we get the different tips and ingredients to be able to get the food of different types. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time for another episode. So when it comes to building machines, remember to go and check it out and just look at the recipe and see what is wrong with it. With that one, the um, the blades were spinning the wrong way, so it wasn't programmed, it was given enough speed, but it wasn't going the right way. So don't forget to double check everything, make sure everything works, but I hope you guys do enjoy this episode, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys!